Right, we're back up to the job where we replaced the linoleum in here. We put, had a floor repair over here. We had some rotten stuff going on under the table. We um, replaced the plywood and everything that was going on there. Put some flooring down here. <coughs> Strengthened up the inside of this tub. And uh, the, the top of this tub was peeling apart. And I've heard people mentioning their tubs doing that to me so I figured I'd make this a part of a video and uh, it was peeling apart right here and what I did was I pushed it tight or actually cocked, cocked behind it first and I pushed it tight up against and I took this pole right here and I put it here and there to hold the sides in so while and then I cocked up made a good caulking bead right down through here with that white lex cell until it got hard, and then uh, once it got hard, I, I let it go. Um, they thought the tub was leaking around here, so obviously somebody did. Tubs don't leak around there normally because there's a flange, just like this, on the top of this tub all the way around, so this goes down to it. It can't really jump up an inch and a half. And uh, they lifted this tub three quarters of an inch when they put this flooring in, which made its support on the bottom be lost. So I, I actually sprayed uh, grape stuff under there to give it some support underneath the tub when they stand in it. And now we're back again and these old mobile home windows are just not sufficient anymore, energy sufficient, so we're putting some DT50 insulated scented glass in all of these windows. And this is the first one we're starting. Now we already ripped out the old one and I'm getting ready to put nice atrium windows in here. New construction window. We've done it to a bunch of them and it sure does make a difference on that. Right, one down. Finish screwing it off. Nice looking window. Trim out the inside. Be sweet. Them old mobile home windows. Don't need them. Garbage. <laughs> Can't pry much. One side, just on one side, just on one side. There you go. Turn it sideways. There you go. Yes, sir. It's going. And go to the end. Pull the other way. There you go. Beautiful. Not much I can do about windows like this right here when the trim is so far out. From there to nothing. I got three quarters of an inch from there to nothing. I'm going to try to put my trim on there just as nice as I can make it. But I can't make chicken soup out of chicken. Well, we won't go there. Anyways. Nice windows right there. Oh yeah, that's nice, yeah. Got a little 
little bit of paint touch up that they're gonna have to do when they get their paint. Other than that, things are really sharp. A little bit of caulking to do, that's it. What we got done today. Both kitchen windows. We still have caulking to do. Living room window. That one's not trimmed out yet. Bedroom window. All brand new. Just not caulked. On the joints, that's it. Looks good. Them will not fit anymore because we shrunk the windows an inch and a half. Um, we're going to see if we can find a bathroom window for them. And we got these three bay windows in. But they are not. Boy, don't they look good. But they're not trimmed out yet. So we got to do some trimming. That will be done. It's, tight. it's not in the. Okay. But no, most of them aren't actually there. Yeah. Alright, doing well there. Windy today. Yes, sir. Look, what a difference in windows. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me.